this is going to be my attempt to limit the dross that I get from my cans by crushing them and using Morton's light salt. It's hard to see it without the light, but it's regular table salt mixed with other, let's see, salt, potassium, potassium chloride, calcium silicate, magnesium carbonate, dextrose, and potassium iodide. And evidently if I get a heel of the stuff melting in the crucible beforehand, it supposedly limits some of the dross. So that was the dross from the previous melt. And I would say that's about 50%. It was like 50, 50, 50 dross to good material. So we're gonna try to minimize that with this burn. So I'm gonna get the charcoal set up and then I'll start recording again. This while I'm holding the camera. Can you get that going? Looks like there's a lot more coal than there is. I got a bunch of wadded paper up in there. Sure, it gets down into the paper down at the bottom. Should take about five to ten minutes to get the coals hot, and then we'll force air through the pipe with this cheap little hair dryer I got from Goodwill, and we'll get the burn going. Real quickly, I'll explain the the build here. It's a five gallon bucket, and roughly halfway up, I have refractory cement uh, mixed with perlite, about 50-50 each. And then the top part and coating the interior of the refractory cement perlite mix is plaster Paris and sand mixture. And then I just cut a hole through here and patched all the gaps with plaster Paris. Took far longer than anticipated to get this up and going. Oh, I'm in the light here. Actually, I had to use the fan to get it going. But I'm going to set the crucible in there now because it's still really cold. I wanted to get it up to temp really slowly. And I will put this top that you can see cracked on me right on top here so that can get heated up as well. I'm gonna use the fan on low just to get the, all the coals red hot. And we'll come back here. We got the charcoal up to temp and the crucible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out. And load it with the salt. Let me see if I can do this with one hand with the gloves on. Not do that very well. I'm gonna take that out. Make sure any ashes get poured out. Tablespoon, probably a little more. And let's get this in there. The wire's acting up on me. Get these 
situated and I'll put it back in there and get it up to, up to heat. All right, so we got the sand loaded up, a few new briquettes in there. That's why it's a little bit off center, but as those settle with the heat, so too with the crucible, crucible hopefully, and then we'll have a little heel of molten salt. Go ahead, put the cover on. Just a high. in the camera but that is molten salt now so we'll start adding the cans here shortly Some more here. I had to reload the kiln or the foundry. So now the crucible is sticking up a little bit above it. Got a good heel of aluminum in there. And I will say the dross looks very minimal compared to what it was. And there's been a weird blue flame coming out of it. I'm assuming it's because of either the paint or the salt that I put in there. But it's looking way better. There's definitely dross there, but not like it was. My phone's about to die, so I'm going to do one dross pull. And now it actually looks like there's quite a bit, so maybe that salt didn't work as well as I thought it would.
Yep, we're back to about 50-50. So I'm gonna keep doing this and try different materials. This, this flux maybe borax next. But my phone's about to die, so I'm gonna cancel this out until the pour.